right then. We're out here on the Marilla Springs Trail. And uh, three and a half miles to the top of the hill. A good day pack. Had uh, about a thousand calories of food in there. Extra hats, some water. Make this a little more accessible right now. And uh, I've got some tools and stuff with me. If I need those. Uh, got a multi tool and uh, a little saw to cut down any branches if I have to do any trail grooming. Uh, zombie repellent because uh, you, you never know out here if you're going to run into zombies. I've really, I, I haven't run into one myself, but uh, you know, you got to be ready for that. I got lots of uh, extra zombie pellets and saw blades handy. So we should be in for a pretty good day. Uh, three and a half miles to the top of the hill, five miles out the ridge. Get on an old road to go about a mile and we'll hook up with the White Pines Trail, which has a lot of old growth pines on them. I'll try and get those for you. And trip distance I'm guessing is going to be in the 10 mile range. We'll check it out on the odometer when we get back. Okay we're about one mile in and uh, here's the White Pines Trail. I'm trying to drive and drive and record here. This is interesting. There's the White Pines Trail. That's where we'll be coming down. see there's uh, nobody's been on the trail today we're doing just fine on a fat bike the tires set at uh, six in the rear six pounds in the rear okay three in the front all right we are about 2.7 miles up the trail and uh, gets pretty steep right here I've been slipping a little I got the back tire at about six pounds. This gets really steep. So I'm going to let a couple puffs of air out of it here. And uh, just want you to see the stream in this area. Pretty area. The rest of the hill gets pretty steep for the last mile. There's probably some native trout in here somewhere. I'm not at liberty to say where. So uh, we'll get the tires adjusted. And we'll see if we can make it up this steep part. It's pretty cliff-like. Underneath has been uh, pretty much a crunchy crust of ice. So uh, we don't get traction here. We're pushing. Let's see. The water is pretty much frozen solid. And so we'll find out if this is good or not. We're going to drink some of this. And uh, maybe we'll be taking a picture tomorrow how this worked out for us. We have gone. Hour and four minutes. 3.667 miles. Max speed 13.9. Average 3.4. 
Not a sign anybody's been up here anywhere. So far we've caught one mouse track. One mouse track. So our plan must be working. We've eliminated all the competition for mice. And that's how we're managing this place these days. This clear cut, it's grown up pretty good. We're back to White Pine Trail, hour 29, 6.2 miles. 15.9 top speed, 4.1 average. Okay, we didn't do the top because it's too damn cold. Now, we're going to go up the White Pine Trail a ways because I'm not feeling too bad down here in the valley. You see the snow is barely floating. No sign that anybody's been here. There's our tracks coming up the trail. We're going for it. Okay, we've made it. We've made it to the White Pines Trail, known as the Twins. These old growth hemlocks never got cut down. Trail heads up that way. Got it. another one over there. It's huge. Directly across the ditch here. These two fellas, look at this. Yeah, that's old growth there. Let's go over here. Careful. Directly overhead. This thing here. This is huge. So, this is how it is. Coming back, and you can see the complete whiteout. I think I got a flat front tire pinched on a bridge. I think I'm gonna make it back okay. So, made it back. Not looking too good here. really know what I look like. I got snow from one end to the other. See. So this is what we do for fun. Okay, you get out of here down the road there. Winter Wonderland. That's what we're driving home in. Eight point two three miles. Fifteen point nine top speed. Eight point three average one hour 53 minutes and 51 seconds <laughs> 